Well, I just went to get in here and uh, accidentally knocked the hose out, so that was fun. That was a fun, uh, fun start to this, but that's okay. Alright, let's, uh, let's do this again. I suppose. <sighs> okay, now I've got the hose in hand and the duck that doesn't float. But, uh, man, I was putting this off today. I don't know why. It's like there's been a, I don't know, it's been like a mental shift. I feeling a little tired. I was a little fearful of doing this today, but I'm here, so. Yeah, I think, uh, I think something I wanted to touch on again is I wanted to talk about a failure just overall, but I need a second because this feels pretty cold. Oh, man. Yeah, like I said, I don't know. There's just something about me today that was just really putting this off, so that probably means I really needed to do it, you know what I mean? I don't know if you ever get like that where, <clears throat> you know, you're like really focused on yourself and improving yourself, but whether it's burnout or maybe just, you know, the longer you wait to do something, maybe there's some anxiety associated with it or just that procrastination really starts to kick in. It'll fucking creep up on you and then you'll be making a bunch of excuses not to do it, you know, but here I am. But, uh, failure. And, uh, I think that's something that, uh, a lot of people don't handle super gracefully. You know what I mean? Like, one thing I would say is just stop stop beating yourself up in this like terrible feedback loop like you're gonna fuck up you're gonna make mistakes like there's like two options you either do you know I mean I'm guilty of this too you sit there and you ruminate over it and you think about all the things you did wrong and how you're such a fuck up or you take some time and you actually sit down and think okay well that happened what can I do to make sure it doesn't happen again how can I learn from this how can I grow from this and I think that's where a lot of people, including myself, we fall into this trap, right? Like we, we make a mistake and sometimes it's little, you know, it's minor or maybe we get rejected. We could call that a failure too. Man, we just beat ourselves up and it's like, we don't have to be like that. One, we don't deserve it. Two, it's not going to get you anywhere. And three, it's just not constructive. Like there's so much that you can learn from making mistakes or failing or coming up short. And I just think we take that for granted. Like, I really do. I mean, I know personally, like, along the way, like, whether it's just applying for jobs, you know, trying different workout routines, <laughs> you know what I mean, relationships, I mean, we've all failed. And I mean, it's really about growing from it that's important. You know, I don't want to sit here and just go in circles, but I think that's something that we could all be a little bit better at, you know? You're not a bad person because you made a mistake. And it doesn't define you either. So if you do beat yourself up over that kind of stuff, just stop. It's not worth it. Just sit there, take the time, have some solitude with it if you need to actually, like, take a moment and recover from it. And then think about it and learn from it. But instead of that negative feedback loop where you're beating yourself up, think about what can be done in the next situation. Think about how you can grow from it, how you can get better. And I think that's really important, but I don't know, do you want me to tell you, oh, how many times did Michael Jordan miss a game-winning shot, or, you know, I mean, I'm not gonna say any of that stuff, because that's not me, like, I'm, I'm just a dude in a tub, you know, I'm trying to give advice as I go through this personal growth journey myself, like, I've been trying to get better for years. And I have fucked up along the way. <laughs> Plenty of times. Whether it's in relationships, friendships, different jobs. I mean, just mistakes in general. You know, having an ego, looking at things the wrong way. I mean, there's failures all over the place, but... Now I just beat myself up less. And that's just the point I'm trying to make. If we learn to fail gracefully, and we learn to, like, actually learn to read, learn to learn from it, getting a cold plunge brain here, but if we, you know, we learn to fail gracefully, analyze our mistakes, not beat ourselves up over it, and actually take the time to sit there and think about it, things will get better, and you'll get better at the stuff too. I'm having all sorts of just tub malfunctions today, let me tell you, whether it's 
me knocking the hose out. Or... Ugh, that's okay. Not everything's gonna go perfectly every time you do it, you know? You call that a failure in itself. Also, I just feel like I hurt my neck, which is weird. Maybe it'll go away in a couple of minutes, who knows? But, yeah. Don't beat yourself up when you make mistakes. Just get back up, and especially when you're working towards goals. Like, you're gonna mess up along the way. You just gotta keep going. Learn from it and keep moving forward. Like, and I think that's really, 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 really important. Because if you do things that are difficult, whether it's like changing your routine, adopting new habits, learning a new skill, like, you're never gonna be perfect. I've changed careers a couple of times in my life, and let me tell you, I mean, I was never the best at it when I started. I definitely got better along the way, but that's what you have to do. You have to learn from the mistakes and just keep growing. And keep going. <laughs> I really wish this duck would float. I mean, it was a dollar, but at the same time, like, what a bummer. The duck is alive, you know? That's okay. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna cut out the end of the video.